Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London and in this quick tutorial I'm just going to show you a very useful function within Microsoft PowerPoint that might save you time and effort later when you're giving presentations through Microsoft Teams or Zoom. So this is a common scenario. We have a Teams meeting open on the right hand side of my screen here and we have a Microsoft PowerPoint presentation open on the left hand side and you want to give this presentation through Microsoft Teams. Usually, when you then open the PowerPoint presentation within Teams, it occupies your full screen and is rather complicated then to manage your communications within Teams. For instance, if I press on the Show Presentation button now, there it is, the full screen is full and I can no longer see my Teams window in the background. So if I escape out of that and go back into PowerPoint, a very useful feature within PowerPoint is the ability to show a presentation within a window. So I go up to Set Up Slideshow, and on the Windows application this is very similar. It's within the Slideshow pane within PowerPoint. Click on Set Up Slideshow, and instead of choosing Presented by a Speaker Full Screen, I click on Browse by an Individual Window, and then press OK. And now when I start my presentation, it appears within the PowerPoint window. And I can scroll through my presentation and still see my Microsoft Teams window on the right hand side of my screen. This is a really useful feature when then sharing this with others in Microsoft Teams. So for instance, I'm in a meeting here and I'm going to share my presentation. When you start the share, by default, the Teams window will minimise itself and we can simply click on the Teams window to bring it back up onto the screen. Now I can start my presentation and I can run through my slides using the cursor keys or the mouse in the same way that you would do usually, escaping to quit. And all the time, this presentation has been transmitted via Teams. The good news is, within the Teams window, you can still access the chat, you can still access any members of the team, and you can still access your team menu bar to see whether your hands are raised, etc. This is a really useful function, and I hope you'll find it useful too.